Hello everyone, welcome to study automation. In this tutorial, we will see Java 8 basic array operations. So let's get started. Here, let's create one array of object and let's assign some value, some random value. Let's say 3, 2, 5, 10, 7 4 all right next so now we have this array and uh, if we want to sort this array then we can use to sort the array we can use arrays dot a stream and here we can pass nums then we can say sorted and then the array is now sorted so what we can do we can print using for each and here I'll say system dot out and then we'll use operator and then we'll say print save it and then let's run this all right so we can see here we have all the records are showing here so it will be this is actually in sorted order what we can do we can write here instead of directly printing what we can do we can pass here one object and then using this object we can use sys out and here I'll say V and then plus a space just for easy reading. All right. And if we will remove ln, it will print in one line. All right. So we have the object. This array is now sorted in a setting order. Similarly, if we want to remove duplicate elements, so for that remove duplicates, what we can do, we have the same arrays dot a stream and then we'll pass here nums dot we have method called distinct and then we can use distinct to print the only unique data and using that we can see the output all right so we have added here print ln what we can do let's say I'll print this one too so print ln and then I'll say remove duplicates save it so that it will print in the next line slash n we can use slash n right so remo remove duplicates it will remove here and then sort the array we can normally print this one too sort array so we have these methods that we can use using java 8 in one line similarly we have other thing that is let's say if you want to find the max element right max number then in that case what we can do we can use the same thing and let, let's say I'll just print it max number or max num so for max num what we will do we have here arrays dot stream and we'll pass here nums that is we have this array and then what we can do we have here dot max 
so we have this max method already available and then we can say get it get as integer format and from here we will get one max element we can just print this max element this out maximum equal to and then we'll write here max so it will give us the max element that is containing here in this array which is 20 so we have to only write arrays dot stream and then we'll pass num dot max and then get it as integer similarly if you want to find the minimum then we can copy the same thing paste it again and here I'll say min let's change this one alt shift r to min max to min and here also we have min we'll change it and then min now let's run it again and see the output so it is giving min equal to 1 so we have minimum element available in this array is 1 maximum is 20 so now similarly if we want to perform let's say I want to get the average or, or sum then I'll if I want to find the sum we have arrays dot stream and then we'll pass here nums let me just copy this and then dot sum so it is returning integer value so I'll simply store it in one int sum equal to this and then let's simply print this sum sys out sum equal to plus sum and if we will run it again we will get sum is 61 similarly to get the average we can write a v e r average we can write here arrays dot stream dot sum dot nums and then we'll pass here average and then we have to you can see that it is returning optional double so we can write dot get as double and then we will store it in double and then we can print it sys out average equal to plus um, sorry double and then we'll say avg average this way we will get the average of the element that is available there in this array and then we have option to filter the records so suppose if I want to get all the values greater than 5 from this array what we can do we can apply filter so to add filter what we can do we have this arrays dot stream dot nums then we can apply filter we can pass here any predicates so suppose if I want to a a is greater than 5 then what we can do for each a and then sys out we can print it so let's remove ln from here and add a space in between and then we can run it so if you will see we are getting the data which is greater than 5 from the array suppose if you want to modify let's say I want to do a square on these values then what we can do we can add here map and here also we can pass the predicate let's say I'll say a into a so what it will do it will you know a square it will multiply the value with itself and then it will do for each so you will get value is 100 36 49 and 400 this is just performing the square that means we can perform multiple things in one line using filter map if you want to modify the array for each to print the data and this way you can perform multiple things on the array operation so hope you get something from here see you in the next video thank you for watching the video